Hello guys and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do facial projection in Blender. And what this is going to involve, and I'll quickly explain, is that we're going to have a messy projection, like a rough projection of a face, which you can't really see here, I'll explain it a bit later on. And I'm going to take that messy projection and take it to a nice clean UV map that we've made. And you can see over here we have this really neat layout over here. Now, what's going to be really cool about this, I'm going to be providing some free resources in the description below. So you're going to have this exact same model to work with, and you're also going to have the same texture. So I'll be providing everything for free in the description. So this is definitely worth learning. Now you can actually take your 3D models and you can project different people's textures onto them, which is really cool. So let's jump in. You can also check out my Skillshare, which you can join for free for one month using my link in the description. So let's jump in and I hope you guys enjoy. So if you want a head model to follow along with, I'm gonna put in the description below a link on my Gumroad where you can download this model over here, which we're gonna be using. So you can go ahead and download the zip folder. So here you can see I've already done that. And then what you're gonna do as well is um, you can use any kind of image you want, but I found this one, which I'm gonna use. Um, you just want to kind of like a front on image of a face. So I'm gonna put a link to this unsplash image in the description below as well. So keep that in mind. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just extract that zip file once you've downloaded it and then open up that blend file. Once you've opened that up, you're gonna see there's this head model inside and it's got a nice clean topology. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start by actually going over to our object data properties. And we're gonna go over to our UV maps. Now by default, this has a UV map. So we're gonna double click on this and we're gonna call this, um, let's just call it front projection. Okay, so this is gonna be a front projection. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another UV group and we're gonna double click on this. We're gonna call this our main map, okay? Because this is our main texture, the, the nice final result. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our editing workspace. So what we need to do is we need to come over here to open, first of all. Let's go to our desktop or wherever you have that photo downloaded. For me, it's on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And then over here, I can see it. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna be able to go to my UV maps over here and make sure we have the front projection selected and the little camera turned on, that's really important. Then we're gonna press A to select all of this and in our front orthographic view, we're gonna go U. So we're gonna press U on our keyboard and then go project from view. So pressing the U key and project from view. And over here, we can see this. Now we wanna actually see it here. So if we go Z and we go material preview, we can see in a second that there is nothing here. So what we're gonna do is quickly go over to our shading workspace and with this head material here, which it currently has, so this should have a material. If it doesn't, your whatever model you're working on, just give it a material and then come to the base color, just drag and type an image and just grab yourself an image texture and then simply go to the drop down here and then get that image that we've already opened up in Blender. It should be available. And now we can see we can see this, which is a mess. We're gonna go back to our UV editing and we should be in our material preview or you can even go up here, change this to texture, whatever you prefer. The main idea here is we just wanna be able to see the texture. So if this all selected by pressing A, we've already done a projection over here. You can come over here and go S, X and just flatten a little bit on the X and then S to scale and at this point, you're gonna to have to kind of just match it up over here. And what you can do is you can go over here to your edge select option so you can see through things a little bit better. Now this can be a little bit tricky. So you might have to zoom in and, and look over here as well. So let's start by taking um, the nose here. So once you have it approximately the size you're looking for, so in this case, I might make it a bit smaller. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your vertex select option and you're gonna to go to proportional editing and then you're gonna come over here and zoom in and you're gonna select the vertex and then pressing G, you're gonna move it and you can roll your middle mouse button to control the fall off and you're gonna line these up as best you can um, to the image. So I'm gonna go over here and I press G, select this here. It might be a little bit different for you depending on what you're working with, but just line that up. It's pretty easy and I'm gonna grab the nose here. I'm gonna move it over to the side a little bit, try and line up the nostrils. I think you guys kind of get the idea here of what we're doing, okay? And um, let's grab the mouth here. Let's move the lips more in place. You can see over here in real time, you can actually select things and you can see if they're matching up. So I'm gonna bring the chin down a little bit till the lips match up better. 
and it adjusts the corners of the lips. You guys kind of see where we're going with this. So I'm gonna grab the nose here. It's not really that hard and you just take your time lining things up and the more time you spend with this, the better it's gonna be. Now the ears here, you don't have to worry about because in real life, you would do a second projection later on and handle that with a side image. But for now, I'm just gonna take this and just take it as close as I can to the ear over here, even though that it's not really gonna be relevant in a real situation. So I'm just gonna move that in. I'm gonna grab this, move it in, move this ear here. But I think you guys get the idea. And also the perspective here is, is actually perspective, whereas in here we project it with orthographic. So it's there are always limitations, but we wanna get as close as we can. Okay, so over here, it all looks like we've got it pretty good. You can tab back out and you should be able to see without the wireframe in object mode, this is what we have. Now you're probably wondering, why don't we just leave it like this? Why do we have to do these two projections? And the reason is, is because we want a final map that is nice and clean because we can't really now go and put another texture here on the side. So we want a final map that has some nice topology, not this messy projection with a lot of overlaps. So what we're gonna do now that we have this in place, our front projection, is we're actually gonna go now and click on our main map over here. We're gonna go back into solid view. In this case, I'm gonna go over here and just go back to object, okay? And we're gonna to go to our main map and we're gonna click on a little camera here. In fact, we don't even need to click on a camera. Just make sure you have the main map, map active. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna go and do a nice UV projection. So let's go over to our edge select. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select an edge or two up here and we're gonna hold in shift and alt and come down here and click and we're just gonna work our way down. In fact, I don't think I selected the middle here. So I'm gonna make sure I get the middle. So we're gonna select the middle ones here, going all the way back like this, working our way down to the bottom here. So we've got this nice line going to about here. Then we're gonna go control E and we're gonna go mark seam. So we now have a seam. Then we're gonna come here to the eyes and we're just gonna shift and alt click over here on this edge, shift and alt click on this edge to loop select and then go control E and go mark seam. And there are a lot of different ways you can do this. I'm gonna select an edge going around the lip here, control E, mark seam, and maybe the ears as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just select some topology around the ears like this. So you got an edge flowing around. Once again, I'm holding in shift and alt while I'm doing this, so I can do multiple selections. Then I'm gonna go control E and I'm gonna go mark seam. Okay, and now I'm gonna go A to select everything and I'm gonna go U, and this time I'm just gonna go unwrap, not project from view. So now over here, we have this nice neat projection and for now I'm just gonna come over here and just click on a little X, just so we see our square um, map, like map space here. And we're gonna select all of this just rotate it and then S to scale it a little bit and then move it down. And at this point, you can take these bits and just kind of move them around, neaten them up a little bit. I'll turn off proportional editing quickly. So here you can see this is a much nicer UV layout than the rough projection that we did. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna transfer one to the other. So we're gonna take this projection here, the front projection and, and make a nice map. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're just gonna click new we're gonna to go to generated type, let's make it UV grid, and let's make it 2048, so it's a bit bigger. So 2048 by 2048 pixels. So that's double, and let's go okay. And let's just come here and call it main texture. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our texture paint over here. And let's once again, just get rid of it over here. Come to the drop down. let's select that main texture. And we also wanna go image, save as, and let's save that somewhere. I'm gonna save it to my desktop as a PNG. And now we are ready to start using what we have here. So let's press N on our keyboard to open up our tools here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to tool. And then what we wanna do is we wanna come over here to the texture slots and where it says here mode, we wanna change that to single image. We want to come to the drop down and select our main texture. And the thing we want to also select is our main map. So we've got the UV options here. We have that front projection UV and the main map. But make sure main map is selected. Once we've done these two things here, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our clone brush over here. That's very important. 
And now you're gonna see this option down here under the brush settings called clone from paint slot and you're gonna click on it. Gonna to come to the drop down and you're gonna choose your source. Let's choose that image over here. So this is the one we downloaded from Unsplash. You're gonna choose that. And then you're gonna to go to your projection source. In this case, we're gonna go with the front projection. And now what you have is two different maps. And now we're gonna transfer the texture to our nice UV layout here with this nice map. So now let's start painting. I'm just gonna left click and we're gonna start painting. And see now it's transferring beautifully. And let's give ourselves a little bit more space over here. And you can just come in here. I'm just left clicking, painting over it. In fact, we can grow our brush size a little bit and do it like this. And you can keep going till it starts looking weird. So in this case, it's working at the front really well, like this. But obviously, as you start getting to the side, it's stretching a lot. And it's at this point where I'm gonna explain some things, okay? So what you can do now using this method is you can very simply, now that you have things up set up, it should take much, it should be much quicker. Now you're gonna get a side image of a face, right? And what you can do now is you can go over to your object data properties, you can go to your UV maps, and now you can create another projection. You can go over here and call it a side projection, okay? And then you're gonna do a side projection on a side image, you could, this whole thing that we did, and then you're gonna come back in here and you're gonna use the clone brush and you're gonna paint now onto, once again, the main map. So you're transferring all of these different messy projections, you're continually transferring them to this neat main map over here, which is the whole idea of what we're doing here. So this is how you do facial projection in Blender. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and that you're able to do something with it. So rem remember all of the resources are in the description below and feel free to give them a shout out. See you guys next time for another tutorial.